We're in the new chapter, chapter 11, which is all about perimeter and area. We're going to model perimeter in this lesson, 11.1. Perimeter is the distance around a shape. We can find the perimeter of a shape by adding the lengths of its sides to find the sum. We can find the perimeter of a shape on a dot paper by counting the number of units. So we're going to count the units in between these dots. So we have one, two, three, four. So this perimeter is four units. And because perimeter is the distance around a shape, we can imagine that perimeter would be like the edge of the property for this house. It's the outside edge of the property going around the yard. Now take a look at this drawing. This perimeter is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2, which equals 8 units. If the distance between each dot is 1 inch, then the perimeter is 8 inches. If the distance between each dot is 1 centimeter, the perimeter is 8 centimeters. It just said units, so that means they haven't determined if it's inches or centimeters or feet or yards or meters. They're just saying units. If all the sides are equal in length, we can multiply the length of each side by the number of the sides. Here we have a square, and a square has four sides that are all the same length. We can see that this is two units, this is two units, we have another two and another two. We can do two units times four sides, which equals eight units. On dot paper, the distance between two dots is one unit. We can total the amount of units to find a figure's perimeter. Mr. Lee built a fence around his vegetable garden. He measured the perimeter of his garden to know how many feet of fence material to buy. And because his garden is a rectangle, the opposite sides have the same length. If this side's 10 feet, then this side will be 10 feet. And if this side's 12 feet, then this side will be 12 feet, because it's a rectangle. It has two pairs of sides of equal length. We can add 10 plus 10 plus 12 plus 12. That's 20 plus 24 that's equal to 44 feet of fence material. His perimeter is 44 feet around his vegetable garden. A rectangle has two pairs of sides of equal length. and We can find the unknown lengths by completing the pairs. We can see that this side is 5 centimeters and this side is 9 centimeters. Because there's two pairs of sides of equal length, if this side is 5 centimeters, then this side must be 5 centimeters. And if this side is 9 centimeters, then this side must be 9 centimeters. Using the rule that a rectangle has two pairs of sides of equal length, we found the unknown lengths. We could even find the perimeter, couldn't we? We could add 9 plus 9, which is 18, and 5 plus 5, which is 10, and 10 and 18 is 28. So his perimeter would be 28 for this rectangle. A rectangle has two pairs of sides of equal length. It's telling us that one side is three units and that the perimeter is 16 units. We don't know what the other measures are, but we can find the missing side lengths with addition, subtraction, then division. We know if this side is 3 units, that this side must be 3 units. We can add 3 plus 3, which equals 6 units. We know it has a 16 unit perimeter. We can do the 16 units minus the 6 units we found, which equals 10 units. That means both of these sides together must equal 10. We can do 10 divided by the two sides, and we know it equals 5 units each. We know each of these sides is 5 units. We found the other three measures of length 
even though we only had one side because it's a rectangle and the rule is that it's got two pairs of sides of equal length. We can use grid paper to find the perimeter of figures by counting the number of units around the sides. We choose a starting point. I like to start in this upper left corner and I like to go around clockwise. We choose a starting point and count around the sides of the shape until we have counted all the units. And we can mark each side as we count so we don't make a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We can do it for this one. One, two, and then look, here's three, then four, then five, then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do you notice when we went down here, we counted this side as two and this side as three? and we counted this side as five and this side as six. If each unit is one centimeter, we can count the units around the sides to find these perimeters. We're gonna start up here in the corner and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The perimeter, because each unit is one centimeter is 14 centimeters. For this one, we can start up here, or I started here, one, and then this one is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Notice when it went in on the corner, I counted that side and then the one right up here. See how I did that? So the perimeter for this shape is 14 centimeters. And they look different and they have the same perimeter, don't they? Just for a little extra information, the reason they have the same perimeter is they have the same number of little pink lines coming down. For this one, it punched outward for the three and four. For this one, it went inward, see that? For four and five, if we had come out for this one instead of going in, we would have had one, two here. Do you see how it would have come outward if we did it like this one? But instead it went in, it was still two. One, two if we had gone that way, and one, two if we'd gone this way. And this could have been four and that could have been five, but instead we went in this way for four and five. So whether it's punched inward or punched outward, we still have two little lines here. So they have the same perimeter, even though they look different. Perimeter is the distance around the sides of a shape. And we have a triangle. A triangle with sides of equal length has a perimeter of 15 inches. What is the length of each side? Well, since each side is of equal length, we can use division to find the side lengths. We know the total is 15. We divide that 15 inch perimeter by the three sides and we see that it's five inches for each side. That would be five and five and five and that would be 15, wouldn't it? A hexagon with sides of equal length show one side is four centimeters. What is the perimeter of the hexagon? Well, since each side is of equal length, we can use multiplication to find the perimeter. They're all the same length and it's showing that one of, it, one of them is four centimeters. We can do four centimeters times one, two, three, four, five, six sides of a hexagon and four times six is equal to 24, that means it's 24 centimeters for its perimeter. And we also could have used repeated addition. We could have done four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four, but it's a lot easier and quicker to do multiplication. Hopefully you know your four facts and your six facts by now that you can do four times six is equal to 24. And remember to count 
every unit line around the sides to get the correct perimeter. Starting here, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The perimeter is equal to 20 units. We say units because it didn't tell us if it was inches or centimeters or feet, so we just say units. For this one, we do the same thing. We can start at one point. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This perimeter, perimeter is equal to 18 units. Make sure you count every unit line, even when you're coming around corners, like inside of here. That's a line, that's a line, that's a line, and that's a line. We have to count them all. Tala drew a rectangle with a perimeter of 16 inches. Select the rectangles that Tala could have drawn. We have A, which is 6 inches long and 3 inches wide, B, 7 inches long and 1 inch wide, C, 5 inches long and 3 inches wide. So remember, a rectangle has two pairs of sides of equal length, four sides in all. If it's got a side that's 6 inches long, we can put the 6 right here. We know it must have another side that's 6 inches long because it would be a pair, wouldn't it? So we can put another 6 there. There's a side that's 3 inches wide, so we can put a 3 there. And to complete this pair, we put another 3 there. Now we find the sum. 6 plus 6 is 12. 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18. This would be 18 units. Our units are inches. It was supposed to be a perimeter of 16 inches. So this one doesn't work. 6 plus 6 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 18, not 16. So it's not A. Now we have 7 inches long and 1 inch wide. So we can put a pair of 7s and a pair of 1s here. We add 7 plus 7, that's 14, 15, 16. That equals 16. This one would work. It equals 16, so B can be one of the rectangles that Tala could have drawn. For this one, it was 5 inches long and 3 inches wide, so we can put a 5 and a 5 and a 3 and a 3. 5 plus 5 is 10, and 3 plus 3 is 6. 10 plus 6 is equal to 16. So this also could have been a rectangle that she drew. And we can solve these with addition, like we did, or we could draw rectangles on blank grid paper. We just have to draw one that's got a 6-inch side, or a 6-unit side, and another 6-unit side, and then do a 3-unit side and a 3-unit side. Draw one with a 7-unit side and a 7-unit side on the top and the bottom, maybe. And on the sides, a 1 and a 1. And we can draw it on blank grid paper. And if you don't have blank grid paper, you can find it on the Internet. You can search for it. Or you can go to my Joanne School Facebook Images section, and you'll see blank grid paper that you can copy, paste, and print. Here we have a drawing by student A and a drawing by student B. Student A and student B counted the units of the figure to find the perimeter. Which student found the correct perimeter? Well, let's take a look at what student A did. They put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks like they did it right. Let's try student B. One, two, three. Uh-oh, look at four. They counted both of these lines for four. Five, six, they counted both of these lines for six. That should have been six, seven, right? That should have been four and five. So they only have 18 for the same drawing. So which student found the correct perimeter? Well, if you said student A, you're right. The perimeter is 20 units. 
This was the correct one. When they went around the corners, they count counted both of the little lines. So you see the error that student B made? They didn't count both lines when going around the corners. See that? We can use any measurement unit on a blank grid paper or dot paper. We can use inches, feet, yards, centimeters, meters. We could even use miles and kilometers, couldn't we? Kilometers. So we just say that that is an inch in this problem. So that would be another inch. And in the next problem, we might say that it's a centimeter. And that's a centimeter. So we can use any measurement unit on a blank grid paper. We just assign that measurement to it. So remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. We're going to continue on in Lesson 11.2 talking about how we can find perimeter and find the measure of perimeters. I hope I'll see you there. Bye!